guys, it's Kristen, and I'm so excited that we're finally getting more information about The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Today, I'm going to be doing a teaser trailer reaction and talking about the brand new poster they just came out with for the show. I'm just super excited. Let's get into it. Ooh, Spellman Mortuary. Okay. That is definitely Satan right there. Okay. Ah, Sabrina and Harvey! This is dark! There's so much magic going on in here. Woo! Wait a minute. Interesting. Okay. Wow. Salem! There is a lot going on here. So that's my initial reaction watching this teaser trailer, but I feel like there's so much in here. There's so many hidden things that I want to talk a little deeper. So I'm going to go through and we're going to deep dive into this teaser trailer just a little bit more and pick out as many little golden nuggets as we can. So one of the things that we've learned about this show already is that it takes place around Sabrina's 16th birthday. 16 is obviously a very monumental year. You know, people have sweet 16s. You're becoming a woman. You're maturing. And and in this case, Sabrina is coming into her own as a witch. So I think the focus of this trailer and having it be around her birthday is really smart and just shows how important that's going to be. We know Sabrina from the Archie comics where she's wholesome and fun and a good witch. But in this show, we're stepping away from that wholesomeness into a darker, chilling story. And I love the dimension that this brings to the trailer because Happy Birthday is a song everyone knows. It's a happy song, but they do it in a way that's so chilling and creepy that it really reflects the show well. Even the birthday cake is kind of creepy, you know? It's like this white cake with these drippy red candles, very mysterious looking. And then as we get into this trailer more, we're actually introduced to two different locations that are going to be in this show. The first is the Spellman Mortuary, which is run by Hilda and Zelda. That's where the Spellmans live. And then we're introduced to Serbius Books. This is a reference to Greek mythology, the Hound of Hades, the multi-headed dog that guards Hades gates. And I think seeing these two locations kind of shows us just how supernatural and connected to mythology and magic this show is going to be. And looking at the front of this bookstore, we can see it's full of Halloween decorations, which tells me that this is a show taking place around Halloween in the fall. And something else that I think is interesting to note is that there's a lot of full moons that we see in this little teaser. So I think, again, that's going to be something that's really important to this story. You know, the full moon is an iconic detail that is part of a lot of different supernatural tales. What's also really cool here is we get a peek into Sabrina's school life, both at Baxter High and the Academy of Unseen Art. Arts. So at first glance it looks like we're coming into a school which is clearly Baxter High. This is the mortal school. But then if you go into the classroom you'll notice on the chalkboard they're studying demonology so clearly that is what's going on at the Academy of Unseen Arts. Going back to the idea that this show takes place around Halloween we can see Sabrina dancing at a party. It's clearly a Halloween party. People are in costume. There's decorations. And I think this also shows that in addition to there being a lot of you know, dark moments in this series, there will be some more lighter, fun moments as well. We also get our first look at Sabrina and Harvey together, and they share a kiss, and it's super cute. I'm very excited to see how the relationship plays out. But based off of some information we've learned in the past about the show, it looks like there's someone else who also might have an interest in Sabrina, and I wonder if there will be a love triangle that goes on. But of course, I will continue to ship Sabrina and Harvey because they are the true OTP. We got to officially meet the Weird Sisters. We'd already seen them in a photo that was released, but now we got to see them in their element. There's a moment where we see them in the woods. There's another one where we see them coming out of this cave and they're wearing the skull face paint. Who knows what they're up to? Could be something Halloween related, could be something related to witchcraft. Something that I thought was interesting here was their outfits. Looks like they were kind of inspired by Wednesday Adams or something. We also got a chance to meet Sabrina's cousin Ambrose and it looks like he's performing some type of witchcraft on her. I also noticed a moment where we saw people with torches and you can't really hear what they're saying very well, but I think it kind of sounds like witch. So I wonder if there will be a witch hunt going on in this season. We also got our first look at Satan and he is creepy. He's got some horns and a snout and sharp teeth and we don't know too much about him yet but he is definitely someone to watch out for. I'm already nervous. And then I thought the end of the trailer where we're all sitting around for Sabrina's birthday was really interesting because there were some people there that I did not expect. In addition to witches, there were definitely some more to 
idols at that table including Harvey and that makes me wonder like what is this scene going to be? Is this like this magical moment where everyone that's close to Sabrina can be involved and then the mortals will have their mind erased so they don't remember what's happening or is this some type of dream sequence? If it is like a legitimate scene what does that mean? Is Harvey in on Sabrina's magic? Does he know? I always thought that Harvey didn't really know much about Sabrina's magic and in the character descriptions I had read it said that Harvey finds out later on that he is descendant from a line of witch hunters so I don't know that just seems like a little bit of a conflict of interest but I guess we'll see what happens. Something else that I noticed about this trailer that I thought was kind of interesting was the color scheme. You know obviously this is a darker show. Even when it comes to the outfits though you know a lot of the witches like the weird sisters that we see they're in these darker black outfits and then Sabrina a lot of the time we're seeing her in these white outfits. So I wonder if seeing Sabrina in so much white reflects you know, this purity and innocence, you know, she's not quite 16 yet, she has not fully come into her powers yet. So that's really interesting. I love diving into all, like, the little details like that and seeing that they actually do help inform the story. I also wanted to get into the brand new poster we just got around the show. I think similarly to what I mentioned earlier, this poster does a really great job of balancing and showing us the innocence and the darkness that are going to be in this show. You know, Sabrina as an Archie Comics character is more wholesome, and if you're just looking at the initial photo here, you just see a girl smiling with a cake and that's nice and then you step back more and you see the rest of the poster and you're like oh my gosh she has like horns and this cake is really creepy looking everything around it looks darker and kind of makes you think like oh what is this this is not a regular birthday. This poster just draws me in, it intrigues me, I feel like it's one of those more than meets the eye type of posters and I think that's what this show is going to be like as well, you know. It's not what you initially think. There's going to be some type of crazy twist. I'm just super super excited for The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I will admit I was hoping we were getting a full length trailer and so I was like oh just a teaser trailer. But even from this teaser I feel like we've gotten so much information it just makes me feel like this show is going to be done really well. This show looks very dark and full of magic and mystery. I cannot wait. So guys, you have to tell me, what do you think of this new teaser trailer and this new poster that we just got? I am dying to hear your thoughts. Make sure to leave a comment down below, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click that subscribe button because I come out with new videos every week. See ya!